Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Host Client Storage, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're logging into the host client directly rather than through vCenter server. And when we've logged on, we're going to focus more on the storage section down the left hand side. So you'll see all the um, storage presented to this host, some of it's local, some of it's NFS. There's currently five SSDs and three NFS mounts. And if I want to create new storage, I can create a VMFS data store from a local device. Unfortunately, I have no devices left with free space, but if I had, I could create a new data store. I'd just give it a name, select the device, and then click Next. The other option I have is uh, extent base. so I can add an extent to a VMFS data store. I would pick the data store that I want and then I'd pick the additional storage I was going to use for that extent. And then I can expand VMS data stores as well. Again, I'd pick the data store, I'd then pick the available storage which could be used for that. And then the other option I've got is adding NFS data store, so uh, uh, network file services. So I would give that a name. I'll then use the host name or the IP address of the NFS server. And then I pick the um, share name or path name for that NFS, uh, NFS mount on the NFS server. And I've got the option of using NFS 3 or 4. So I'll just cancel out of that. But they're the different ways I could have added storage to this host. I've already done this before I uh, recorded the video. And some of those buttons again across the top. Things like browser. So what I can do here is look at all the data stores and browse the files and folders inside them. So if I pick my vCenter server data store, I've got a vCenter server folder. And inside are all the disk images and hopefully we'll see the VMX file which contains the actual config for that and if I wanted to I could register that VM. It is already registered so I'm not going to do that but basically this is where you pick a VMX file and then add it to the storage. I've also got some a directory with some patches on in here. If I just expand this out you can see I've got some patches for vSphere 7 there and if I was to upload it would let me pick from somewhere where I could add a file to that directory or I could do that with ISO images so CD-ROM images and files so I can pick them from here and then attach them to virtual machines to install software. I can do things like move and copy and create directories. I've also got things here down the side again generally a repeat of the um, options we have across the top or when you right click. So if I go into a data store you'll get the name, the type, the, the location and then the unique identifier. And then you can see how many hosts and virtual machines are using it. And then there's some summary at the top of the total capacity, free and used. I've got a list of storage adapters here. I'm just using an, an integrated SATA controller, so that's the only one I've got on this particular host. Um, I can see all the devices. So there's six devices in this server, but one of them is a CD-ROM, leaving five data stores. And persistent memory would be shown here. So this is persistent memory or storage class memory. Um, dream of the day when I could afford to put persistent memory in a home lab server. And if you want to look at statistics for any of these data stores or events, you get a similar kind of view as you would do for uh, other aspects. So that was um, host client storage, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.